we can use the sub palettes to choose controls and indicators to build the front panel for our lab view application the availability of front panel controls and indicators may vary depending on the sub palette style we choose either modern NXG style silver system or classic sub palette for front panel controls and indicators. We have data containers. We can use array and cluster controls and indicators to group data elements in unsorted order. We can use the set and map controls and indicators to group unique data elements in sorted order. We can use matrix controls and indicators to enter and display matrix data. We have Boolean sub palette. We can use the Boolean controls and indicators to enter and display true false value with buttons, switches, and lights. Next, we have containers, though they do not have a separate uh, palette of uh, their own. These are the tab control and the sub panel uh, containers. We can use container controls and indicators to group other controls and indicators or to display the front panel of another VI on the front panel of the current VI. Then we have decorations. We can use decorations to graphically group or separate front panel objects without affecting the functionality of the VI. Decoration includes objects such as the boxes, lines, arrows, and many other. Then we have graph palette. We can use graph and chart indicators to plot and display numeric data. Then we have IO palette. We can use the IO name controls and indicators to pass names associated with IO hardware configurations to IO VIs to communicate with an instrument or a device. Then we have a list table and a tree sub palette. We can use the list and tree controls and indicators to give users list of items from which to select. We can use the tables to display string of data in columns and rows. We can use the numeric controls and indicators to enter and display numeric data. Refnum palette. We can use the Refnum controls and indicators to reference files, directories, devices, and network connections. Ring and Enum sub palette. We can use the ring and enumerated controls and indicators to create a list of items for the end user to select from. The ring control and indicator support only the numeric data type. The enumerated controls and indicators support the numeric data type with their corresponding strings included. Then we have the uh, string and uh, path sub palette. 
We can use the string controls and indicators to enter or display text. We can use the path controls and indicators to enter or return file or directory paths. Then we have variant and class subpalette. We can use the variant and class controls and indicators to interact with variant and object oriented data. So select from the view menu, controls palette to display the controls palette and then select controls and indicators from the controls palette and place them on the front panel or you can also call a temporary version of the controls palette by right clicking on the front panel. 